This video is the continuation of basic key terms in statistics. So now we are going to introduce random sample. Random sample is extremely important in statistics. If your data is not from a random sample, basically the entire project, the con all the conclusions, they are piece of trash. All right. A random sample is one in which every member of the population has equal chance of being selected. The result of the, a study is biased if the sample is not a random sample. So how do you pick a random sample? All right, here is how. So just picture this in your mind. You are the teacher of a class, all right? You have 40 students. 40 students in your classroom and you want to take a random sample of five students. So how do you do it? You have 40 students in your classroom. You want to take a random sample of five students. So let's put the, make the language simple. Random sample means everyone in that classroom has equal chance to be selected. Here is how you are going to do it. You close your eyes, okay? And then you randomly grab five people out. So that is a random sample. What about non-random sample? Non-random sample is you pick five people out because you know these people in person. Okay, if you know them, okay, I like this person, so I pick this person out. That is a bias, right? Random is you close your eyes, you pick five people out. So every one, every one of your student has equal chance to be selected. That is a random sample. All right, so uh. Let me give you one more example. So let's say um, I taught 2,000 calculus students. Okay, and then I gave everyone a course grade, A, B, C, D, F. And then I want to uh, do a study. What I am trying to do is I want to see if they would like to take my class again. Do they like? They, do they like my class? Do they want to take my class again? That is my goal. Now, which sampling method is biased? I have two methods, number one and number two. Number one is take a random sample. Of 50 students. So that means in a big lecture hall, I close my eyes and then I randomly grab 50 people out. Okay, I don't know. I don't care who they are, I close my eyes or turn around, just randomly grab 50 people out. So that is my first sampling method. And then I ask them a question, are you interested in taking my class again in the future? I don't care what grade they got, don't care at all. Just need 50 students to answer my question. Number two is I select the highest scores. meaning that the eight student, right? I select 58 students and then ask them, do you like my class? Would you like to take my class again? Which one is biased? Which one is not? The answer is this one is biased. Why? Because they got an A in my class. Of course they like the class and they would like to take my class again, all right? This one is non-biased. This one is the best. You randomly grab 50 people out. I don't care what grade they got. Some people got an A, some people got a B, C, D, or F. I don't really care. I want random. And then I ask them, do you like my class? Would you like to take my class again? This result is, is non-biased. This result is closer to the truth. If the um, the sample, if, if there is a bias, then basically the result doesn't represent anything. All right, so moving on to uh, more keywords, parameter in st and statistics. A population parameter is a numerical measure that describes an aspect of a population. So parameter is a number that describes a population. The easiest way to memorize this is population parameter, they both start with a P. A sample statistic without the S, a sample statistic is a numerical measure that describes an aspect of a sample. So statistic is a number that describes a sample. The best ways to memorize that is they both start with an S. 
Let's take a look at this problem. Determine whether each number describes a population parameter or a sample statistic. In a survey of 1,000 families, what is a survey of 1,000 families? When they mention this, a survey of 1,000 family, this is already a sample. So whatever describes that must be a statistic. 800 say that they buy 90% of the groceries online. So what is so special about this sample? What is so special? Let me tell you, out of 1,000 family, 800 family says they buy 90% of the groceries online. So that's 800 is a number that describes the sample. So number one is a statistic. Number two, the freshman class at a university has an average SAT math score of 700. So that is the average of everybody, every, little, every single freshman in that university. So since that is the average of everybody, then that is a parameter. Because the 700 describes a characteristic of the population. And then number three, in a random check of several hundred retail store, this is a random check. Random check means we have a sample right here. Sample, what, whatever number followed by that must be a statistic. So number three is a statistic. 25% of the stores were not storing fish at the proper temperature. So this 25% describes the sample is a characteristic of the sample. That's why it is a statistic. Number four, last year, a company spent $2 million on employee salary. So that is the total amount that they pay their employees, pay every single employee. So that is a parameter. Describes the population. The population is all employees in the company. Number five, in a random collection. Random collection means we have a sample. 10 of them, the 10 describes the sample. So number five is a statistic. Number six, in summer 2020, 200 students completed a professor's calculus class and 20% of them earned an A. So the 200 students, this is a population. Out of the entire population, 20% got an A, so the 20% describe a population, so that must be a parameter all right so that will be the end of this video if my thing if you think the video is helpful to your learning please click the like subscribe share this video out for me i appreciate your help really really much i catch you all in the next lesson